Hey, you beautiful big heads, it's your boy Zatch, and welcome back to some more Alchemy Stars. And today's video, we will be showcasing Bopper. Now, she isn't what many expected, but it is what it is. I'm doing it so late because I honestly didn't enjoy using her, just being completely honest. And that being said, since the event's about the end, I'm just doing it because of that. <laughs> That's honestly the reason. So she is a free-to-play character, and you can get her right now for free. So she, even though she's not that great in my opinion, having more characters is better than having less, you know? So going to the breakthroughs, first one gives a print to strike, and the last one allows the Iron Lizard to immediately activate the effect of pull in enemies within two surrounding clusters towards itself by one tile when it is summoned. Now going over to the active skill. Again, when the Iron Lizard is first summoned, it will pull in enemies within two surrounding clusters towards itself by one tile. It also has the effects of Magnetics and Whirlpool. Magnetics just does the effect again of pulling enemies within two surrounding clusters in towards itself, but then it detonates afterwards. And then Whirlpool just makes the chain combo aim towards the Iron Lizard wherever it is and go to the edge of the map. Her chain combo is a column. Now, usually I hate columns, even in this case I hate them, but since hers can be augmented by the Iron Lizard, it's not as bad, but it only deals 140% damage. And last but not least, the equipment skill, Lizard Blast. The Iron Lizard pretty much deals 240% damage when it disappears to two surrounding clusters. Let's go look at the team. So this is the team we will be using. Um, everybody on the team really doesn't matter other than Excelia, because Excelia plus Bopper equals a lot more damage and crowd control, since it would then turn your Iron Lizard into bombs, essentially, because every time you summon one, it would destroy the other one. And then it would just allow you to get more pulls around the map. Now, obviously, if enemy can be pulled, this does fall flat quite a bit, but we're not gonna worry about that. And then any damage dealer, and then any two converters. So that's what we are working with. Let's hop on into it. Now, we are really far down in the spire simply because you're going to see right now why exactly. Uh, if we go this, this, this. Because X, how about say Excelia? Bopper by herself, right? Does not do much damage. But if we're really low in the spire, she will do a lot more. <laughs> that's that's the reason. See, we at eighty-one percent. I can I can show you a clip of us being higher up in the spire, and it's it's just doing nothing, like like two thousand per hit. So yeah, it's it's a major difference, and we we need the damage. We we really need the damage. So we're just gonna do this and this. Now this guy should be able to be bored, so I will be snagging him backwards like that. And then, since he's now been moved and that's been activated, we can now use. Actually, I'm curious now. It better be one energy. I was about to say the cubic energy economy has been collapsing lately, so some of these some of these skills I don't think is quite accurate. But what we do is this. We're going to max zeal. Then we're just going to take all these, and we don't really need to activate the secondary effect of Iron Lizard because we're going to hit him regardless. But actually, we can do this. We could do this. We could put one right beside him, right? And boom. And then we can activate the secondary ability and make him go boom again. If it activates. There it is. Now we can run around and hit his face. This is right on him. We really gotta worry about too much. But this, he actually might die from this because even though Bopper isn't that strong, yeah, the rest of the game is like this. See? <laughs> Now hopping right on into the rating. Honestly, I would give her a A minus without Excelia because her crowd curling isn't that great and her damage isn't that great. The support she gives is lackluster because the only part that support is the active skill on the first part, which pulls in enemies. So other than that, the rest of her kit is damage. And then as a support, that's just weird. You should be supporting in multiple ways. But yeah, with Excelia, I would move her up to an S minus because her crowd control does become more consistent and she deals a lot more damage, but at the same time, you shouldn't need a whole six star support to help out a free five star support because a support helping a support just do its job right is kind of weird, let's be honest here. But she is still free, and A minus isn't that bad for a free play character, right? Even though her damage is anemic, she still will come in handy very nichely later on in the game. And if you have Excelia, you will get a lot more mileage out of her. This showcase was a lot more short simply because bopper really doesn't do much honestly i re recorded this several times going through several stages there's a lot of gameplay in the background that y'all will never see because it's just bopper <laughs> bopper not doing much <laughs> it's bopper not doing much and it just, honestly just becomes an excelia showcase showing how great excelia is but hey <laughs> we got excelia showcase so yeah hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe all that good stuff i will see you on the next one love you guys and Bye-bye.